How you doing, YouTube? We are back. We are back. We are back with another podcast. 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 <laughs> and uh, the podcast name is... What the hell are you thinking? What the hell are you thinking? What the hell are you thinking? I'm pretty sure that was it. Yeah. It's what the hell are you thinking? What the hell are you thinking? Yeah. Yeah, what the what the hell you think? I think it was called cool "What the hell you thinking?" If y'all watched our last podcast that Which we did, like eleven months ago. Yeah, was it that far back? Yeah. Wow. yeah. Well, yeah, eleven months ago, and we said we were gonna start podcasting. <laughs> Look how it's like, oh, man. We need to stop that. We need to stop yeah. saying how we gonna. But, but we yeah. started stuff and ended stuff like and never continuing. <laughs> yeah, but we're back. <laughs> we're back with this with what the hell. I'm keep saying what the hell. Yeah. Is it, it what the hell? No, it's W T H. You the, thinking? What the what hell? The, you the thinking, hell right? You think, yeah. I'm keep saying that. You said no. You said what the hell are you thinking? Okay. I, I didn't even get to that part. Bro, you said it. I didn't even get to the, the R yet. I kept saying what the hell, right? What the hell? What the yeah, hell? Yeah, 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 yeah. And you kept on saying you are saying it right. I didn't even get to R the R part. Okay, it's what the hell you're <laughs> thinking? What the hell you're thinking? So what the hell you thinking? What the hell you thinking? Yeah. Right? You. Yeah, what the hell you thinking? <laughs> That's all this out. <laughs> no, we not. We just gonna keep it all in there. But yeah, we're finally back with another episode. Episode two. <laughs> <laughs> episode two, and you know, with this channel, we wanted to make sure that you know with everything else we were doing. We we actually had a video. Can y'all tell us that video? But though, can you tell them that video that we had? Oh, we had a challenge video, and it was on the computer for like thirty years, and. <sighs> I need to make space, and I actually I mean, like it was it was on a, a sh it was on the camera, a, and a space I needed. Thing. I was in the middle of filming a video, and I needed some space, and I just deleted the first ones that was there, and that was our video that was not edited, and so exactly we're here. And I you see how the she video. always said it'd be like, yeah, my bad, I didn't do it. She said it was already on for thirty. No, it was not. Real. Bro, like, we filmed that video like a week ago. We went to then we went to Chicago, and then. Then we came back. We still, still. I'm gonna edit that video today. I'm like, okay, yeah. It was only a now. If you would have edited the video, then we wouldn't be having a problem. But Tyler, we literally went to All Star Weekend. That what? That Friday? Oh yeah, we did. We did it that night. We did that night, but still, <laughs> it still felt like it was there for a week. So, <laughs> see, every time when she do something, is she always trying to make an excuse? But anyways, that's her. That's Batala. That's what you get when you mess with Tyler. Yeah. But anyway, for our topics for today's video, we got two topics because uh, our podcast is not going to be like everybody else's podcast. We're going to be doing like miniature podcasts. Mm -hmm. um, and once we get a lot of people to start watching, we're going to start boosting the minutes and boosting, you know, the time for by request if people want to know more. But we're just not going to just jump out the gate and you it. Oh yeah, I was just looking at uh, you. Uh, we just not about to jump out the gate and give y'all an hour and a half. I think that's kind of redundant. Yeah. When you don't have people that's watching all of a sudden, but yeah, we like got two topics that we're gonna be doing. Um, the first topic is um Dwayne Wade. Uh, Dwayne Wade. I should have just kept going because but Tyler don't be she be dropping yeah, the ball I, because, and we just be looking at each other stupid. So the first I'm, I'm topic the is gonna be the Dwayne Wade. I'm, Nigga, just, I'm, 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 just right I'm just going right past you. I'm just going right past you. No, I don't need you to be saying nothing. But we're going to the Dwayne way. Then we're going to do um, the Pop Smoke stuff. So now, Matala, do you want to say anything? No. You don't want to say anything? Nope. Why? Because you just interrupt me. I don't like I, being I, interrupted. I'm sorry. No, I, that lie. <laughs> that lie. <laughs> With that, wow. <laughs> yeah, sir. Wow. Um, but. Matala got some nice jeans, too, by the way. Yeah. But, um. <laughs> <laughs> he better go. I'm in my mood. I'm from <laughs> okay, bro. Let's get to the point. I ain't gonna keep talking, but uh, all right. Um, so you have to tell them because some people don't probably don't know. I was going. I thought what I was about to do. You said, "Do I have anything to say?" Yeah, I said, I, in, but I was. But tell her. Is this covering my face? I hope not. I know how to, you know, talk in transition. Okay, that's let's transition because it's already ten minutes in. That's what I was about to do. And it's only ten minutes in because we have to work to get everything <laughs> out. Can you like? But okay, just like just tell them. Okay, the first topic. So, <laughs> so basically, um, this whole uproar, uproar, with Boosie and the Wayne Way son, the Wayne Way son, um, daughter, daughter, Name's son. Anna. I'm saying son. We we kind of split decision about that. I'm not be, I'm not gonna be disrespectful, not at all. I'm mm -hmm. not gonna be disrespectful, but um, 
Yeah, uh, I'm gonna let Batala go first with the whole ordeal because y'all already know what we're talking about. Mm-hmm. And if you do not know, Bushi had things um, wrong no, we with have that. To tell him, like about they, but we have to tell them about like the like, like our little small rundown about like Dwayne. Hey, listen, let me tell you, Dwayne Wade has a son, but um, he's actually gay. Are we gonna call it okay? So he's gay and he he's undergoing a name change. Well, I don't know if it's like gonna be legally or anything, but he wants to go by Isaiah now. So that's like the little story about it. I just want to let y'all know, like in case y'all not really keeping up with it. So right, and, and then the little Boosie thing. I don't know. I forgot. I don't know what really happened. with Boosie had things just to say about, um, just how far he's going with it. You know oh. what I mean? Far first, first me personally. How how this how I receptive. First, everybody thought it was gonna be like you know, a gay thing. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I got I I got gay people in my family. That's not the case. But and, and let's be honest, I'm Bushy had his own choice of words, but the 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 lesson was there. The you know, and I I think a lot of people fail to realize stuff like that. So Bushy was basically as vulgar as Bushy is and. That's just boosty. Like, what else did you think? Somebody that went to jail nine years, got diabetes and all that. He's like, mm-hmm. he going to be vulgar. But boosty was basically just real vulgar. It was just like, come on, Dwayne Wade. Don't cut his dick off. Don't cut his dick off. <laughs> Not the man's dick. Don't cut the dick. And a lot of people, was, and I saw Sh- uh, Charlemagne and them talking about it. And I know this, gen- this media, gender, this whole bias thing in the media. I already know. If you're a straight male, don't say anything. Mm-hmm. I'm completely okay with that, cause you're gonna get knocked down a lot of stuff, especially when in a, you know, in this era of homophobia and all this mm-hmm, stuff. Mm-hmm. So I understand, mm-hmm. but I just, I I can I can tell when it's when when the media is kind of searching for something, and when you go from like like I said, Charlemagne and that was talking about it, and when when Bushi they kept on harping on on what Bushi was saying like. Don't cut the dick off. Don't cut the dick off. Don't cut the dick off. And if you listen to what Boosie was saying, that was a metaphor as far as like, don't, 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 you know, erase his manhood yeah. quite yet. Okay, not yet. Like, it might be like a phase that he's going through in his life. And Charlemagne and that was just stuck on that. And that's what you call people that stuck on words. And they're going to try to, what you say, they're going to try to flip it as much as they can mm-hmm. to try to prove you wrong just by the choices of words, knowing that the lesson is there, mm-hmm. knowing that they know what you mean. And they just come on saying, well, we didn't know he was getting a, getting trans- a transgender surgery. We didn't know at 12 he was getting a trans- Like, y'all know what he mean. Like, y'all been doing this for the longest, and I didn't see you flip some stuff, you know what I mean, mm-hmm. of a person that you like, well, that person that said they mean it like this, you know what I mean? Yeah. But clear as day you know what boost you know said. what they mean yeah we know what you, they mean. you're yeah. not going so i understand and like i said i am a straight male in 2020 and me personally i have no reason to even be saying anything but i just feel like you know i just feel like a lot of stuff is creeping like it, it don't dictate us it, it don't dictate us to the point where it's just like oh straight males need to shut up I'm okay with that, but when y'all 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 doing stuff that we have to talk about, you know what I mean? Okay. Like, well, well how do you feel about it? Let me before um, I keep talking about the situation. I yeah. just personally feel like I'm for it, to be honest, because like I feel like if I have a son or if I have a daughter and they want to like you know switch their gender or they want to be something else, I really don't. I don't mind. Like, right. I'm gonna support them 100 percent because that's my freaking child like right. i have the right to support them you know i i should i should you know what i'm saying but you know some people have different views and beliefs but right personally i support it because it's like it's what you want to be is what you is what you make whatever makes you happy type thing right. like if it's not like it's not you doing it so why are you so mad like why are you so upset about it right. like that's what he wants to do that's that's fine and i'm from the side where it's just like i'm from the side where people that's explaining it's just it's to the point where I'm speaking for myself and some people that that takes what I'm saying. It's not that people are mad or going about it the way it's how it's presented in like the media mm-hmm. and like we just got to be honest. Some of this stuff is like very demonic and stuff and it's like so at a young age and at a young child like bro like 
Bro, you, two years ago, I regret some shit. Like, mm-hmm. I'm so serious. Like, mm-hmm. two years. So, making decisions like that is kind of like. How old is he? Like, 13? He's 12. 12. So, making, like, decisions like that is kind of like. Oh, like, just like what Boosie said. Like, where it's just like, okay, be gay. Like, mm-hmm. I and I'm not telling him what to do. Like, be. But it's just like doing, like, the fart, like, the transit. It's just kind of like. But we do don't you, know yet. We just kind of know, like, a name. No, We're not sure if we're going to go, like, the full yeah, route. Yeah, I mean, obviously, that's. that's I mean, I don't have resources, so I'm not going to say. Yeah. But that's pretty much the, you know what I mean? That's pretty yeah. much the gist the of gist, yeah. uh, call me, changing to the girl's name. Mm-hmm. and uh, Like, that's pretty much what they're going and to, for it to be like, okay. And nowadays, it's like, n- nowadays, you see men that's, that's talking that have females. So... Th- they're gonna lay back and be cool with everything. Watch that. Watch watch the grown men like the Charlemagne's and all that stuff that only have, um, you know, uh, daughters. They're gonna be cool with certain things because they only have daughters. Mm-hmm. It's a it's it's kind of like an agenda. And I'm st- I'm starting to see even when y'all get fed up, it's funny because it's just like, I, even on Twitter when I see a lot of females that's for it. Then when it's then when it start taking shit that y'all care about then it's like nah nigga y'all doing too much like nah nigga like y'all like what was it? i think it was the bathroom it was some just oh like it, the unisex thing yeah and it's just like some other shit where it's just like um like basically i can't i can't get it off the top of my head but it's just like when 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 a guy started to be become females and now they get like like the, the opportunity to go into they the get the opportunity bathroom. and all this mm. other stuff. Everything is good until it start affecting <laughs> female, because and I think like, that's like the funniest it's shit like, ever. It is what it is because like that's just just how I said earlier. Like you gay, but it don't affect me. Like it ain't me. But why is it that y'all only start to say something when it when it affects y'all? Because it's affecting us. Like we have a right to say something. I mean. Cause like we're supportive of it. Like it's not like we just condemning somebody for being whatever they want to be. But it's like you got a whole man in here. Like, but that's the and that's the thing. Like it's kind of like even, it's kind of sh- conflicting though, to be honest. Not really. Like even if you really mm-hmm. think about it, even when it comes to straight males, y'all don't even hear what we say. Y'all go on just the the in in uh, in a in a gay community. You know, got that real bad. Mm-hmm. It's just. You know, they don't hear what you say. So if you're just like, you remember when we was watching uh, 13 Reasons Why? Mm-hmm. And like the uh, the gay girl in there. I remember just like, she was just like so demanding. Mm-hmm. And was just like, I don't, was she gay? Which one? The, the Asian? The or girl that about? was just like, no, we're going to do this. And oh, old yeah, girl yeah, was yeah. just she like, was, she was gay. And remember or old girl. Lesbian, bi, whatever. And remember old girl was just like, kind of, let's step back and think about mm-hmm. what's going on. And she was like, no, no we're going to. We have to do we this. We have to mm-hmm. go. To, and that's the thing. That's the problem. That's the problem. Like nobody's actually just because you're straight and you're male, it's like you have no say so. Mm-hmm. And that's we're, we're as I'm talking to the people that I'm talking to. Not there's a lot of other dudes that might be on some other stuff. But how I'm saying it's just like we're not condemning you. Like yeah. you know what I mean? It's just you're opening up a door for. You know, just because you're not a wacko, mm-hmm. your this door is open for a lot of wackos. Just like okay. when um, uh, it's so much stuff in my head, but I just can't remember what's going on. But I remember when they were doing like the L G, when they were doing like the letters and stuff. Mm-hmm. And I remember it was like the oh. pedophiles was trying to add, add their letter. The P, was just yeah, like add it was just P, like yeah. oh the the pedophile because we're it's supposed to be you know what mm-hmm. I mean like you the door is open so much that yeah. it's just like you're. But look, just look in the back of you. We're not saying that true guys is not can't be let in, whatever yeah. the case may be. Like, because at the end of the day, we're all human. Yeah. But it's just sure. like you're opening up the door so much that you're gonna, re- you're gonna be, you're gonna turn around at the door that you open and be protesting that door that you open. Exactly. That's basically what I'm saying. Where it's just like, yeah, there's a lot of cases that that happen that way. Where I'm, it's like they turn around and then it's like, bro, it, you was just the one that was. And that's what I bring back to like the females, where it's like y'all, y'all, you know. Co- Y'all, you know, praise them and stuff like that. I'm, I'm on cool. I'm cool with it. I don't, I don't care. But when it start affecting y'all, that's when y'all want to say so. And I think that's just so hypocritical because you supposed to bring it to the front when it's, you know, when, I, when mm-hmm. it's there. Mm-hmm. Don't be like, oh, I got daughters and everything, so everything gonna be okay with mm-hmm. me until you have a son. And you just be like, 
I don't know. Like, I, yeah, I want my I son to play sports. I want my son. I mean, my son got to go out there and, you know, and see this. Like, and most kids, that's what they see. So most kids are just like, this is what they see. This is what they, they going to go with. It's just like, you know what? Like, mm-hmm. this propaganda is taking over boys. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's just like, at the end of the day, it might be, and that's not, that's not scary from the sense of, you know, a straight male that's that's toxic from the sense of humanity. That's to, that's how I feel. That's toxic from the sense of, you know, of just just me personally. I don't know about other people, but just like black males and stuff like that. How it's just like we already got a disadvantage. Mm-hmm. Then they trying to make yeah. then they trying to make everybody like, you know, like you know what I mean. Trying yeah. to be like, cause when I went to high school, it was some gay people. And it was just, it was that. Mm-hmm. They was gay, but mm-hmm. they were still like them. Mm-hmm. Okay. And that's, and nobody had a problem with mm-hmm. that. The only problem is where it's just like the overdoing it. And maybe, maybe I'm wrong about that. But like, so the like over, you do like, like the flamboyant stuff? Like, yeah, because it's just like, like cross dressing and. Because it's just like, I don't see why, but I do see if you say you're. If you was in a wrong body, mm-hmm. you know what I mean, and maybe people watching this video and be like, you know, he's contradicting himself. No, I'm not contradicting myself because two, one person I'm talking about was way over age, over eighteen, and I'm not gonna tell nobody twelve year old, you know, that you you're in a wrong body until you're able at eighteen, nineteen mm-hmm. to tell me you're in a wrong body. Then I just be like, okay, do what you gotta do. Okay. Then at the end of the day, it is, but. At 12 years old? Mm-hmm. Like, at 12 years old. Like, like yeah, at 12, we're, our minds are, like, developed. We know we, you know, but sometimes, like, when you think about it, it's like, we make mistakes at that time. Right. So, it's like, that's the time where you, like, you get older and it's like, bro, I was 12 years old and I really wanted to do this. And it's like, I don't want to do that no more. That's like, why I didn't so never. It's, it's that's, some decisions that. That's why I never, not to cut you off, that's why I never really agreed with the Dwayne Wade because they made it public. Because, oh, like. Oh, so you think, like, he should have kept it private? I think he should have kept it private because, like. The, which you just explained. He could be six. He could be. <laughs> it's gonna be vulgar, but it's some people on the internet which is like, bro, you might get a woman, and it might be like, whoa, mm-hmm. like she turned me. You know what I mean? She, yeah. Because sometimes, tur- sometimes it can be phases. I'm like, I'm not saying that it's not. But. And it can be. Mm-hmm. That's all. And that's all I'm saying. And me, I really don't care. It's just the age, like bro, twelve. Like that's kind of weird. Mm-hmm. And I can, I can sleep and do everything. Like I. Ain't, ain't gonna phase me, but we're just talking about it to have yeah. a conversation. Yeah. But like I was saying, like I, going public, it's gonna it's gonna hurt more because mm-hmm. now, like, have, just I'm making an analogy. Like when somebody playing basketball and you you playing basketball and you go out there and you just play basketball, you ain't say nothing. You just and let's say you lose, you lose, you good. Mm-hmm. But if you about to play basketball, you like, bro, I put 50 on it. I'm about to beat you. I'm about to do this. I'm about to do that. I'm about to... It's more, you know, heart pumping more mm-hmm. because you you talk you talk the ass whooping up. Right. Now, if you lose, everybody on your head. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because you, you lost and yeah. you was the main one talking. And you, I'm using that analogy to say where it's just like, even if he don't feel like that no more, I feel like. The, the media is going to push him to continue to keep doing it because he's going to be like, I, I didn't make a fuss about doing it. Now I don't want to do it. Yeah. And everybody's going to be like, that, that is I, crazy. I, I, keep going. You're doing this. You're, yeah, it be this. Giving him the mm-hmm. hurry. Because he's going to he's like, gonna get, the, he gonna get the heat if he switch off and be like, exactly. okay, I kinda, like, I'm actually kind of ahead of her. Exactly. It like, was a phase. And they're like, what? Like, you don't support this and that? Like, I didn't say that. Like, I just... Even if they even if they don't do that, it's just the it's the pushing of the you know what I mean? It's the it's the you know, you are you a singer mm-hmm. and you telling your daughter, Well, we got sing class on Monday, we got this in class and it's just like, Okay, I'm doing this for mom, but I I wanna be a violin player. Exactly, mm-hmm. but no, well, we got this on Friday. Then we got this. Then mm-hmm. you're no, we're we're going to the label. We're, you're gonna be. I don't. You're. Go, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like it's kind of like that. Where it's just like they didn't made it, and they didn't made it. They didn't made them spokespersons to it now. Mm-hmm. Where it's just, yeah, she true. did this. She said at three she gonna do this. What if at sixteen he kind of like I don't. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Now they kind of like you didn't talk this up at three. He said he knew what his agenda. Like you and Gabrielle, you and did the most, and it's just like maybe it will work, but it's just like 
what if it don't? Yeah, what and I just feel don't? like that should have stayed in our house. Yeah. But if he did do it, nobody knew what the man liked mm-hmm. or not. It should have just been that. Like, why? Yeah, he should have had the decision to come out himself, kind of. Like, I don't know if they, like, I don't know if he was like, okay, yeah, can you tell the world type thing? Or was it just, like, him coming out like, oh, I just want to say this about my son or whatever. No, I, I think it like- was the... I think it was purposely done. I don't think it was purposefully, but I think people know when they do certain shit. Yeah. Like, I'm not saying, like, if I had a gay son, I'm not purposely saying my son gay, but if I post this picture on social media and my and son got like, on heels, mm-hmm. I'm purposefully telling my Tell son. Telling the, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Like, I'm gotcha. not physically saying it, but I just made this with all my kids and he got on nails and heels and everybody like, Jamal, mm. your youngest son, why? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I, yeah. I know what I'm doing when I post that. That's like, true. Let's not be stupid here. Like, it's kind of like vaguely. Just yeah, it's vague. Like you already know it's coming. Mm-hmm. You dropped it. You already know it's about to come. Mm-hmm. Like and and if you don't, like, come on now. Let's be completely honest. But like I was saying, I really don't care about. I situ- do. I do agree. Sorry to interrupt, but yeah. I I do agree that it could have been kind of harbored a little bit longer because like he's still young. They could have not said nothing. Yeah, they could just could never said nothing. People like had their little thoughts already like with the pictures and stuff like that. Like yeah. this one kind of uh, uh, like just let them let them talk to themselves yeah. amongst themselves like they keep bringing mm-hmm. the heat when people, they like you don't yeah. have to answer to nobody, but yeah. I think that's really what they want to do. Like mm-hmm. at the end of the day like when if somebody say you're gay, you don't have to say anything. Just mm-hmm. go on with your life like yeah. but it's just like if you continue to out and post and these vague social Shay won't pick up everything. Mm-hmm. You know what no, I mean? Shay won't picking up everything, even Some if it's not it. supposed to be. But like I was saying, uh, Shay room they gon' they gonna grab it and they gon' even if it's not about you, they gonna be like, hey guys, is this about what mm-hmm. you feel like? What do you guys feel, roommates? Yeah, mm-hmm. like like I said, like I said at the end of the day, I don't care about nobody doing anything, but I can tell when an agenda is being built. That's the only thing I'm I'm, I'm caring about because that's that's when thought start to be you know what i mean mm-hmm. like and if you and if you say no it's not people people don't listen to other people and don't do nothing okay okay if you if if, if you say that and you say all the stuff that's going around is not going to trigger more people to just do this all right well then let the pedophiles in oh no 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 let the pedophiles in and if stuff don't start happening because the pedophiles in I'm right and you're wrong. Right. If, if you feel that way, like, oh, no, it's not just because somebody gay and this whole uh, gay agenda going on, it's not going to affect your, your your son. It's not going to affect this. It's not going to affect, you know what I mean? At, at when kids are younger, it's kind of be like, oh, gay, cool. I want to try this. I want to try that. You know what I mean? Like, So if you don't think that's that's going to ever happen, you know, what, what's the word? What? Like propaganda and stuff like that's oh. going to. Um, I don't know. Uh, but if you don't think that's like out there where it's just like your son will never knew about that if you know if that would never was out there you know mm, what i mean like, okay, like I, get, I get what you're saying i forgot the word though like it's, it's basically when people harbor on people mm-hmm. like you know what i mean people harbor on people people be like oh shit like nobody was really talking to me in school this person talked to me and i'm I caught feelings. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like it was just like, and they never know. But it's like it's harboring. Like it's harboring. Like you, like we are. We, so do you think that people are, um, that like want to be gay? Like, are they gay because of that was shown to them? That they have they that they seen this? Like, no, it's all types. It's all do types. You think, but do you or do you think that it's really like? Um, possible for people to be born. Like, I, I, I was born. I believe. I believe. Gender. I believe people was born gay. I believe people was turned out. Mm-hmm. I believe okay. people got, you know, something happened to them tragically that turned them gay. And I believe people... It's a lot of different situations. And I believe people did things for clout. And I believe... like it, it, it's, it's all true. It's all... It, we all can find a, a case with everything is being true. Yeah. When somebody was born gay, somebody got raped and turned gay, mm-hmm. somebody... If we can all find a, a case with... We're all going to be right. Right. But true. I'm just talking about... I'm not talking about everybody. Yeah, all yeah. I'm talking about is when, you know, praying on somebody. Mm-hmm. Praying and it's just like, you know, some later on, 2030... Your son or your daughter is being bullied because they're 
they're straight. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Like, we could see what's certain, and you can laugh now, but I'm just saying, if you laugh and then say, oh, you're overreacting, let the pedophiles in there. <laughs> that approved my point. Yeah. Let the pedophiles in, and then you're going to be that mom, uh-uh, uh-uh. We're going to be like, no, nah, she she said that she loved him. He was 30, and she was 10. No, nah, he prayed on her. Yeah, okay. I get okay. It. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm, like, mm-hmm. so, so basically, these older, we're not gonna get into that conversation, but, but, so we're not saying that propaganda is preying on, you know, kids to turn, turn them out and do stuff like that. Right. Jamal, you tripping, you doing this. Like I said, I don't care about what's going on in somebody else's life, but it just, if I have kids, I would have to. Mm-hmm. People that got girls, they can sit back and don't care because mm-hmm. this is a male thing. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like, oh, go ahead. Like, females are up. Like, we're not talking about females turning to dyke. No, like, right. we're talking about males turning to females. So, females come like, oh, I got plenty of gay best friends. Like, mm-hmm. they cool. They, they, so, it's not going to really t- hit them. Yeah. Only and only when it's hit them. Mm-hmm. Only when it's just, oh, my man. Oh, he he like naked him butt. Oh, he's gay. <laughs> like, yeah. Like, how, how gay is supposed to be progressive? Mm-hmm. But then when something happened... Oh, he's gay. Then we talking about him, like, right? Right. That's even true. like with That's the whole true. Dwight Howard. Oh, he's mm-hmm. gay. He's this. I thought being gay was good. Like y'all don't know when to pick. Yeah. So we gonna we gonna turn into a weapon, or are we gonna enjoy it? Like mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Like that's true. That's true. It's kind of like um selective. It's selective. So if if I was with Batala right now and she found out I loved uh-huh. some of my booty and I was gay, so people gonna mm-hmm. use that. Oh, he's gay. He, like. Oh, I thought it was supposed to be you. Know what I mean? Like, you're supposed like, to be your free sub, your, exactly. your, your true self. And yeah. that's all I'm saying. Like, just be honest with each other. Like, like let people live. You can be, you can do whatever you want to do. I don't care. Like, it, it's not, we can kick it, we can talk, we could, but at least, at least it's some gay people out there that, that knows that's, that's not blind to mm-hmm. it. It's even gay people out there, even on Twitter. It's gay people that be like, I'm gay, but I know it's a gay agenda going on. Mm-hmm. Like they're not blind to the fact. Like, okay, I'm gay, and I, I'm totally agree is a gay agenda going on. You yeah, know what I mean? Like, that's true. especially with with the black man and all this other stuff. Like, so like it's just so it, it is what it is. I just think like they was just he just a little bit too young to be in the social media with it. Yeah. Like so yeah, like he's free to make his decisions, but kind of just they should have waited on it. I I agree with that. Because if he wanted to turn the other way. I just think it would just be different. But, like, if he does want to turn the other cheek and, like, go back to, like, you know, like, the regular, like, his, you know, how he was born. Right. It's going to be hell for him. Right. And and it's just, like, people act like, people, like I said, people don't listen and they think, like, everybody's just hating. And it's just, like, nobody's hating. Look at Magic Johnson's son. Mm-hmm. Nobody's, it's the age, but they mm-hmm. don't want, they know what we're talking about. Mm-hmm. They, but they just don't want to. They don't want to look at it. They don't want to. They want to do like the wordplay thing. Exactly. Like, they want to do the wordplay. Yeah. And and when you're trying to do something, you always going to believe that you have haters. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Even even people that don't have haters believe they have haters. Yeah, for sure. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So it's just like, so if you just like, I'm not hating, just listen to me. Like, no, nah, you haters. Like, mm-hmm. naive. Nobody's coming at Magic Johnson's son because it's just like, he nobody grown. really exactly yeah, like, nobody is. really care about it. Only Dwayne Wade son, it's only because Dwayne Wade is really Magic Johnson never came out and said, Oh yeah, E J told me he was like this when he was one year. Like, mm-hmm. okay, you're feeding into like mm-hmm. like if the if the kid is whatever the kid wanna be, okay, you're his dad, let him do that. But exactly. don't exactly you're it's a propaganda now. Mm-hmm. Like you're you're saying words for propaganda. Now it's just gonna be like, Oh, I knew you could know your at three, mm-hmm. I knew you can do this at this, and then that door that y'all open up is. She did say that. She did tell me at three she loved me. Well, mm-hmm. sir, you're thirty and you had a sex with a four year old. She told show me she me. loved mm-hmm. me. She and told here come me all the shit. Yeah. All I'm saying is that door that y'all walking through is kind of wide. Yeah. So just, just. Just calm down a little bit and watch it because that same door y'all y'all walking through, y'all gonna wanna nail it shut too. So mm-hmm. that's it. I just wanna get off that conversation because like it's yeah, thirty minutes in. <laughs> uh, but that's all I wanted to say. But um let's get into the next topic. Uh the next topic is sadly to say pop smoke. Um yeah, pop smoke pass on um, February nineteenth. Yep. 
um, for for something in the morning in L.A. in Beverly Hills, I believe it was it Beverly Hills or something like that. And if you don't know who Pop Smoke is, Pop Smoke was an up and coming uh, New York artist. He was really known from starring. Well, one of the guys, one of the known guys who started uh, the New York drill rap. So you know the woo woo. She like what I did. She like what I uh, like. He had like that Fifty Cent like. Like like that type of like that type of bounce mm-hmm. like and now you seeing like I forgot his name Far Giano and you seeing um um what's his name Tory Lanez dropped his oh. song with the same with like a, the same drill beat mm-hmm. I ain't been broke in a minute like mm-hmm. like they're like this this drill New York drill sound so like um yeah he ended up passing. In L.A., so like like due I don't to know, a, yeah, due yeah. To a, um, a intrusion robbery, type yeah, of a thing. robbery. A, there today targeted. We, tar well, we t- the, when we first heard it, they said you know it was just a robbery, and they you know they shot him and they took him to the hospital and stuff, and he he died at the hospital. Mm-hmm. But now it's coming out that it was uh, targeted. Mm-hmm. So basically, they said it was four masked men and. Uh, one like they went in the house when they they said they all walked up to me i'm gonna be completely honest to me i don't think it was i don't think it was normal niggas i'm gonna be completely honest because the way that they say a go that sound like some call of duty military shit oh like assassin, with, like assassins and stuff like that or yeah, no like or just i like would that. have to see the video but like he was like, oh, it's oh, for no, them. I seen a video and it was like the one with the inside of the was it the garage or something? It was coming in and they had like no, they ain't had a mask on. I don't know, I but he said, maybe, maybe he said the first one had a mask on, mm. but it was just like they crept over here, and then they crept over here, and they crept on the side. They was in the front, then they hit the, then they hit the side, then they walked up. You know how like I gotta see it, but the way that they, the way I read it, it was kind of like. It kind of like, you know how military is just mm-hmm. like, we hit this, then we jump over here, mm-hmm. then we hit the side, then we do But this, they had like a map like, of the house or something. Yeah, like, not even that, but military and like police officers, they mm-hmm. move swiftly. Swiftly, yeah. So they might hit this wall and be like, okay. then the other two might hit that wall. Mm-hmm. And it's just like, one might look out, the other one might go. Mm-hmm. And that's how it was. Like, it, it wasn't like a, what, how I read it, because, yeah. you know, they, the statement, yeah. how I read it, it wasn't just like, all oh, four of them just walked up, they just bust over the door, they went in, mm-hmm. and whatever, it was just, it was like that, like, they said, two people walked in, then the next two hit the side of the house, then the next two hit the back, then just one went in, and then it, one went in with the mask through the back door, and it was just like some 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 shots. Then the, the person that went through the back door ended up coming out the front door, and they end up like leaving. Like mm-hmm. so, it was just like, and they said it was just like a hit, like basically to kill him. Mm-hmm. Like wow, so it wasn't even like robbery. But no, nothing. Like they said, like no chains, no. Nothing. It wasn't. Are you really serious? Yeah, it came out like, and they said the police said it was basically like. It was a targeted hit because, like, it was just a hit for him. That's so sad. It wasn't nothing. To, and they said it was people in the house, and nobody, nobody else got killed. Nobody. What? Yeah. So he wasn't alone. No, he wasn't alone. Oh wow. No, I didn't know that. No, I thought he was. Know. I thought he was with somebody like a friend or something or something like that. No, no. They say he had a party late that that night, but and they That's... said you know he was in. People were saying how he was in a pool. You know, in a pool, just you know, on his story, like literally, like a few sec, a yeah. few minutes before he. It was so it, it it gets so weird about it. It was just like they said the nine one one call came from another state. Came from another state, east. So from the east coast, the east coast is New York. So, mm-hmm. um, it it gets weird, but a lot of a lot of people were just like, you know, it is weird, but. That theory could be broke down. Mm-hmm. What if he was on a phone with somebody? He is from New York. Oh yeah. He was. Let's say he was on a phone with somebody in New York when niggas popped in and mm-hmm. and shot yeah, him. That's like, true. That's true. And they like, oh, let me call the police. Like I heard. And they call the police. Okay, okay. But it's just like to for other people in the house not to get hurt, not to get hurt, or not to even like, 
or not to make the nine one one call to be two. You know, that's crazy. Like that's another thing. Like if you in the same house and somebody gets shot in your house at, or in that area or whatever, shouldn't it come from them? Like from that area instead of like. The person that was, you know, they was on the phone or something and just, like that. And just shots, period. It's just like, that house didn't look too big. Like, yeah, it didn't. That, it looked like, the, like a three-bedroom probably. Like, or something that, like that house didn't look too big. So, it's like, where are you guys at? Like, mm-hmm. when, the, when the shots ring off, do people duck like, and hide? Mm-hmm. Or do you duck and go see what ha- happening? Mm-hmm. Especially if it's in a house. Yeah. Like, and you're a big artist like you know what i mean your friend or whoever you in the house with is a big artist like some just do you are you guys strapped like right. what is going on like yeah. it's like it's a lot of different stories floating around so it's just like okay so how do what, what do you feel about the whole situation i feel like i mean it's sad like um ain't, wasn't he like 20 yeah he was 20 years yeah, old 20 so like it don't even look right like you know 1999 like come on now so i personally feel sad about it um it's just it's just sad, like, cause like Hollywood, it's like Hollywood going up into flames or something. Like it's like, so it's I don't know, like it just seemed weird, like everything weird starting to go on in Hollywood, and it's just like okay, everybody just like keep an eye on this person, this person, this person, cause it's just like, it's very crazy, cause like it's like so many deaths now, like like the day before we just lost two, um, where it was off of like some shows, I forget, I'm sorry, I don't know their names, I'm sorry, but it was off like the, um them shows that we watched like as kids and stuff, but like it's just like. First, I thought it was so knowing that it's not a robbery. It's just like, damn, I don't know what to say. Because first, I was gonna say like, damn, like you, you, you make it in this world. You make it in this, you know, this industry. And that's the thing. That's and the thing that like kills they, you. They want to. That's the thing that really kills you because it's just like, when well, you from New York? Like we're not that far from New York. Like we're no. you know, we're Midwest kids. Milwaukee, so close to Chicago, New York, Philly, all this other stuff. Like you. <laughs> You when you dream, you dream to move out the hood and go to Calabasas, mm-hmm. go to the hood. I mean, go to like Hollywood, go to Beverly Hills and mm-hmm. stuff like that. But for like, it's the Kobe thing once again. Not to say that you know things could have been prevented because it can, mm-hmm. but it's just like, what can you do? like? That, like no, you know how people be like rappers, like oh, you supposed to move out your hood, you supposed to do this, you supposed yeah. to do that. It's like. That's what he did. Like, yeah, he wasn't in. He wasn't in New York. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Like, he wasn't for something haters in New York to. You know what I mean? When people are like, are you staying your hood too long? This will happen. Like, he wasn't. Mm-hmm. He moved. He he in New York. I mean, he in L.A. LA. He. Mm-hmm. That's what he did. He moved to L.A. and thought he was safe, and you know, in Hollywood. Like, but then we also got. I don't know if it was Beverly Hills or Hollywood, whatever it was. But it's just like that's what he. That's what he did. That's what most people do. Like, move and and. To the to, to the to the sunny side and yeah, it was but, a lot of instances though. Like when I seen like the pictures of him, like you know, accidentally showing his address too. So it's kind of like it's sad, like the way it happened though. My thing because my, I also heard that the the community was gated or something like that. My biggest thing that yeah probably yeah like how can people yeah he's not gonna in? obviously he's gonna have a community gate, but that, that's that's L A for you. Like my my biggest thing when it comes to L A is like. That that what people are saying that that works in in areas like we we are in mm-hmm. or like L A I don't I don't need to watch your story to find your address like oh I can find you nigga like mm-hmm. like this and that's what people was on the internet saying like bro that's like true. it was so funny people were, like somebody was just like I can't believe y'all thinking like people that do, and- people that does shit like that mm-hmm. like we need social media to find your address. Yeah, that's we, true. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. people in L.A., this is what they do for a living. Mm-hmm. They they be knocking niggas' houses. Like, you be hearing robberies and all that. This is what they do that for a true, living. That is true, because you can find Drake House. You can you find can't, like, a lot of celebrities' houses. I don't houses. need, like, yeah. bro, it's it's a thing on, if if you want to be honest, it's a thing on Hollywood that, that takes you to Star's house front door. Oh, yeah, like, like the little I, drive, you driving yeah, a little. Yeah, to show yeah. you where Star's live at. Like, I don't need to... <laughs> like I, I can find like especially if you live in that life like if you live in that life where it's just like you got eight people and this what y'all do mm-hmm. y'all get money because y'all rob people house taking cars taking it y'all probably got a, a whole database with people house like y'all ain't got to look on no story so it's just like i think that was gonna happen regardless even if even if he didn't go on social media that whole day i think that was gonna happen regardless i think whoever whoever it is whoever set it up or whoever 
I think that was gonna happen regardless. I don't yeah. think that happened because they saw a the tweet yeah. at eight and called four other people. We about to go over here and break. No, because it was it was strategically planned. Is I that's could first of all all that is cut out the window anyway when they said it was targeted. Mm-hmm. Nobody's about to wake up. Oh, pop smart, pop showed his address. Yeah. Now we got to kill. Like, brought, like that's like, not what? a death yeah. sentence because you showed your address. Yeah. Th- th- and that's why I say I just knew that was going to already happen. Like, if no, like, that was already going to happen. That yeah. was already in the books. Like, whoever sent that down or whoever, a big OG or whatever the case may be, that was already set down. That that was before he posted all that, before all these conspiracies, that was already in the works. Mm-hmm. That's the, true. the four guys and whoever, they already knew they was – they was trying to go kill him that night. Like yeah. when they woke up that day, whoever they affiliated with, get, and they got that news. This what we want. This what we doing. Yeah. Before he even made all those mistakes and posting his stuff, like they they already had that in mind. Yeah. The whole day they already knew. Like bro wasn't making it through that day. So. That's so unfortunate. It, it, and it is, and it's kind of crazy when you're a superstar because like you kind of don't know, and it's just like. And, and I think you, and when you're a gangster superstar too, it's kind of like, bro, like, I'm not trying to say be a pussy and check in, but you have to, you have to. Like when you're when you're somewhere like us, you know, we land and we we in a hotel, we we doing us, we we could until like life happened. Mm-hmm. But where you a where you a superstar, bro, like you gotta check in with them OGs, you gotta check in with. That's not, I'm not going to do that. Ain't no pussy, bro. Like, you, <laughs> what I was telling you, like, in the L.A., bro, just because there's a lot of superstars out there, there's a lot of people that's out there that's hungry. There's a lot of people that's out there that ain't got shit. That's true. It's more people that's broke in L.A. than it's rich in L.A. So don't let that, don't let that, that, that lifestyle fool you, bro. Yeah. Like, like, it is, you can have fun out there, but with caution, bro. Like, with caution. My caution like, me personally, I don't do a lot at night. You know what I mean? So yeah. that's what it is. Like, and that's just me. A lot of people be like, well, uh, so many, so much stuff happened in daylight too. That's true. Yeah. But we all got our own things. Yeah. You know what I mean? We all got our own safe. things. Yeah. Like, like, I'm I'm a civilian. You know what I mean? Like, so like, I don't, I, I'm not walking around with eight. You know what I mean? Eight security guards. Like, you can walk around with eight security guards at night with all your chains on. You good. But if I'm a civilian, I like to dress. I got to change. I'd rather push it in the morning mm-hmm. and do my do my my drip and do that in the morning than just be out at night. You know what I mean? Like, come on now, like that's how I feel and with the whole pop smoke. I just think like it's so crazy because it's L.A. is taking a lot of lives, bro. That yep. that city is taking a lot of that city is taking a lot of people this year. Like it's taking, and you know sometimes it's just like. That was, I would say that was the first murder, but a lot of stuff has just been accidents and a lot of other things have yeah, been. Yeah, that's true. A lot of other things have been mistakes and just old age, mm-hmm. but like this hasn't been like the first murder, so it's just like weird. Yeah, this year been crazy. It's just been too much already, and we only at the end of February, like, yeah, 2020, man. But, I, it, yeah. it, but it is one of those things where it's just like when... When stuff like that happens, you got to keep trucking because it's going to be better in the long run. You know, you just got to hope, to pray to God, I hope to God that you make it out and continue to keep pushing because, like, even though we want to feel sorry for a lot of people that go through stuff like that, you know, that pass and go through, but they're, 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 they're what's, the, what's the word for it? Like, they're, um, suffering and pain is over. So, like, you know, you don't want to just slow down your life and it's just like you got to continue to keep going. You got to continue to keep, you know, you know, do what you got to do. It's like, you know, God, you just got to hope, hope to God. A lot of stuff is just quick for a lot of people that do go. Yeah, but yeah. with the whole pop, pop smoke thing, it's just, it's just sad when you just kind of like 20 years old and you kind of just – the way you move, like mm-hmm. bro was moving weird, like so. So being twenty was a shock for a lot of people because he was moving, like you know what I mean. That's how you're supposed to move, like, like. But sometimes our own 
our own, you know, what's the, like, we'll, our own decisions fuck us up in the low run. I'm going to say that. Our own decisions mess us up because we do have a, we do have a life, like, like, a, like us right now. Like, we have a life. A lot of people right now, they on the street, they doing whatever they got to do. And sometimes do God do, you know, surprise you with success. But you can't run away from your old life. And sometimes that might be it. Like, instead of just waiting for God and hoping that you do pop, people be out here doing doing dirty stuff in the streets. Then get a fan base and win and and be like, I'm all love now. I'm all love. Like, bro, them people that's on your ass not all love. Mm-hmm. Like, that will be that's that's will be so crazy to me when I hear stuff like that. When I hear like Diddy and all that, and be like, I'm all love. I ain't beef with nobody. They need to feel that same mm-hmm. way too. The people that you then fucked over all this other stuff. Just because you at that point in your life, don't mean them other people not a, is, is is at that point in their life. You know what I mean? Yeah. And they gotta be like, oh, I gotta take him out. You know what I mean? But you talk about I'm all love now. I'm all, Nah, just because you you where you want to be in life, you just want everybody to just mm-hmm. be happy. But you done did a lot of stuff for your lifetime, and people ain't forgot yet. So yeah, yeah. R. P. to Pop Smoke. Uh, yeah. I would just get to know his music. Um, yeah, it was kind of crazy, and just now getting to know his music. Now nah, I can't listen to it because I'm mm. not that type of person. I can't listen to people like even though I be want to, but it's just like I can't. Like that's kind of weird. Like. Like, you know what I mean? Like, the yeah. voices of people. Like, I just not. I can see how people do that. <laughs> yeah, like, how people, be like, do, like, uh, uh, X and yeah. stuff like that. It's like, oh, his, um, thing just rolls up 300,000%. Like, wait, what? Like, <laughs> I can how could you that. do that? Yeah. Uh, even Cole, that black cousin said that when he was on live. He was just like, bro, I don't understand that. Like, why you don't follow me when I'm on there? I post. You mm-hmm. know, they got the accent. He's like, I post every day. I'm active. Y'all see me go live. I'm talking to people. But when somebody passed, y'all go follow them. Like, do y'all know ain't nothing about to be posted yeah. again on this channel? I'll that be is, on, this, on this page. Ain't I nothing mean, about to be posted. Like, but y'all want to follow it? Like, yeah, that's true. Like, where that's is just the so weird to me. Like, bro, like, why, the, like, why y'all want to do that? I, even with past relationships and stuff with people past, like, oh, I just, I, I just call his number all the time or just hear his voicemail. Like, why you want to do maybe that? Maybe that's, that's just they coping. They, maybe that's they coping. That's a weird like, coping, bro. Yeah, it's a lot of weird things that people do. People like are babies or something. They keep the, the blanket. They sniff it. They. It's a lot of people. I can. People oh, do. okay. Things. I can do that. But when oh, I'm talking about like. Like, like voices. And yeah. Things. Like. Or like like when people have teddy bears and they get their voice put that's in the teddy bear. Just anything that's like. Tr- like that triggers like that. that like the person there. Or? Yeah. It's just like that. Just actions. Like. Like just. Like that voices and all that sort of stuff. Like, bro, like, why would you? Why would you even want to do that? Like, that's that's weird. I can see having like stuff from people, but nah, that's kind of weird. But. Yeah, but rest in peace. Yeah, that whole thing is kind of crazy. But y'all, y'all, let us know what y'all feel about both of these subjects. Um, the whole pop smoke thing. Um, the whole Dwayne Wade thing. Um, next next podcast is gonna be we're gonna try to do this thing like every twice a week so we're gonna probably try to do it like um because we're gonna drop this tomorrow so it's gonna be like on a saturday it's gonna be random but it's gonna be twice. no it's not gonna be random i don't want it to be random oh Mm. i don't want it to be random though do you want it to be random i just feel like it's better that way because you kind of can just like you don't have to be like set on a schedule that's my personal opinion but we'll figure it out i feel like i I feel like it should because then then you'll be more up on topics like Oh, yeah. Like, you don't want to yeah. be like, oh, this is a random one. Then you just talk about topics that just like, you know what I mean? Like, because yeah. I, I, I do want this to be a everything, but I don't want it to be like once a week. Like, I want it to be like twice a week, like beginning and end or something like that. Okay. Like, like on a Saturday, so like, on a, like on a Sunday and a, and a Thursday or something like that. Like Sunday or. Okay, that's fine. Sunday or Wednesday or something like that. But um, other than that, this has been our second podcast. Um, these weird. <laughs> why you keep looking at me? Like oh no, because he's he, he started off in the beginning like, oh yeah, this is just gonna be a miniature podcast. It's gonna be like an hour. Oh no, I'm about to say miniature. Like whatever we whatever we decide is gonna be like. I want it to be miniature, but if we talk, we talk. Like, you know what I mean? Like yeah. no, it, it is what it is. I'm just though it it will be less than two hours. Like yeah, you know what I mean? True. Like a lot of these hours, po- yeah. a lot of these podcasts are two hours to three hours long. Like so, like if we talk. We we gonna talk, you know. We have a good time. We talking, we talking. But if if it's you know, 
the other way and it's smaller than y'all already know but right. other than that this has been our second dairy podcast on what the hell you're talking about yeah <laughs> what the hell <laughs> we gotta pick a new name to be honest what the hell you thinking oh i said what the hell you talking about Woo. what the hell you thinking i just need to get it, it it's, it's it's new so basically like <laughs> even though like it's the second podcast. Like everybody yeah. mix up with the name, even if it's a long name. Like so, what the hell you thinking? So what the hell you thinking? Podcast. Um, yeah, this is our second. What, what do you got to say, Batala? I ain't got nothing to say. I'm, I'm good. <laughs> I'm just ready to get on the roll. Like, yeah, I mean, just continue to keep yeah, doing it. Yeah, like, like I don't. Yeah, like, our personalities and all that stuff. But yeah, like I said, uh, thank you guys. Thank you guys. Tell us below. How you guys feel about, you know, um, the two subjects about Pop Smoke and about the Dwayne Wade thing. And comment below other things that you guys want us to talk about. Send us questions because we, we will be doing questions too. Yeah. Um, if y'all want us to, we can put questions at the end like of the video. Like anything like that. Anything. But other than that, this has been uh, What the Hell You Thinking? Is it What the yes, Hell You Thinking, yes, right? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I thought it was like, what the hell you talking about? No, it's Jamal. What the hell you about. <laughs> like, get it right, bro. <laughs> uh, this is the second episode of What the Hell You Thinking. Um, other than that, I am Jay. And I am B, and this is J and B TV. <laughs> this is J and B TV. This is the podcast. And other than that, we are out. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.